Hi, I'm Angela Godwin with Waterworld Magazine coming to you from the show floor at WEFTEC 2015 in Chicago. Joining me today is Freddie Cade. He is with Evoqua Water Technologies. Freddie, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. I wanted to come by and talk to you about the Orable process because this is something that achieves simultaneous nitrification and denitrification. Correct. How does that work? Um, basically, the Orable process has over three decades of experience in simultaneous nitrification and denitrification. Uh, we provide sufficient oxygen to remove complete uh, BOD and ammonia removal, but we also provide the majority of the oxygen at a deficit. Uh, this allows for nitrification while at simultaneous, at the same time you're converting that nitrogen nitrate into nitrogen gas. Uh, we've had a lot of experience and success with it. Um, we've, it's, a, it's a much more efficient uh, design that allows us to get 10 to 20 percent more energy efficiency versus conventional type of design. Mm -hmm. So what's unique about the orbital design? Um, the orbital design is always done with the operation in mind, uh, to give the operator peace of mind. So we always design with flexibility and, redund flexibility and redundancy. Mm -hmm. uh, every orbital design has multiple reactors and also has multiple points of aeration. This allows us to control the dissolved oxygen level in each reaction independently. It allows us to create environments where we can do a lot of uh, biological nitrogen removal. It allows us uh, also to take reactors out of service if needed and also take aerators out of service mm -hmm. if needed without losing any treatment quality. So it's always flexibility and redundancy is always uh, inherent in our design in order to give the operator flexibility in handling any scenario that he might face. So what about some of the features? Um, the Orbo have two standard features uh, that are very important uh, mm -hmm. that I think would help uh, the operation side. Uh, the first one is storm flow feature mode. Uh, basically this uh, allows the operator to handle uh, peak storm events of a peak up to 6 to 7 to 1 mm -hmm. at average designs. This basically utilizes the flexibility in operation, multiple reactors, uh, by diverting the influent to inner uh, react reactor mm -hmm. and not washing out the solids in the clarifier. Uh, this is very uh, unique because during a big storm event, you're not losing effluent quality uh, and you're not uh, losing your, your biomass, uh, the organisms that are doing the work mm -hmm. during that event. Your recovery time is much faster. So this is a very important feature, especially in the regions where storm events uh, tend to be more severe uh -huh. than average at a, at a ratio of greater than 3 to, three to 1 or 4 to 1. Uh, we've had a lot of installations. Um, and, and, and areas like, for example, in south in Texas where, where they have storm events up to 10 to 1. Wow. And this feature is very flexible. Yeah. Uh, the other really good feature that I think a lot of vendors are not implementing is the, the electrical controls. We have our own smart BNR control. Uh, these controls tend to uh, monitor the d dissolved oxygen or RP reading in each reactor independently, allows the re uh, operator to change it from the panel, mm -hmm. um, and also allow the operator to view how the system is running um, from off-site. Mm -hmm. uh, so if, the, if an event, uh, storm event happening over the weekend, the operator can access it remotely and view what's happening in the plant yeah. without having to be there immediately. Yep. So it's a very good feature. That is a very good feature. So what about... Um, New developments, particularly like in 2015, anything uh, standing out there? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Orbital technology has been uh, with Envirex for over 30 years. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had over 900 installations, so it's a very well-established technology. Recently, uh, in the last couple of years, Evoqua has invested uh, heavily into improving the component, components of the Orbital. Uh, we have our own testing and manufacturing facility down in Thomasville, Georgia, where we've developed uh, a brand new disc uh, mm -hmm. that the disc is going to have almost double the oxygen transfer for the same speed of rotation. Uh, you can improve, ox uh, add, add oxygen to your system. Uh, you, can, you can replace existing uh, disc, disc aerators or, or, or blade type of aerators yeah. without having to ch exchange any of the other components. It's a very flexible design. We're excited about it. Uh, hopefully, this will be a very unique feature that, that uh, a lot of customers would find positive. Yeah. Mm, helpful. Excellent. So if folks want to learn a little bit more about the Orbital system, where can they go? Uh, please contact me. Uh, my name is Freddie Cade. I'm at 262-422-7129 or fred.cade at evoqua.com. I'd be glad to help. All right. Terrific. Freddie, thank you so much for your time thank today. You we really much. appreciate it. Thank you for For Waterworld Magazine, I'm Angela Godwin.